Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Adeptus Titanicus showcase video. We've got a real treat for you today. We've got a Legio Griffonicus Titan Manipal. Uh, awesome, awesome miniatures that I do hope you're going to like. Now, if you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with four painting levels starting with our bronze premium gaming level going all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you're interested in a quote with us, be it for a Titan Manipal of your own like this, a character, because we specialise in them, small force or large army, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to our website and our contact form. Once there, complete that by selecting the relevant drop down options from those available and for your requirements. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. We're back in a second to see these almighty war engines in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So let's dive in and have a look at this Adeptus Titanicus Legio Griffonicus Titan Manipal. Uh, that comes a mouthful. Uh, and great amount of Titans in this Manipal. Uh, we've got obviously two Warhounds, three Reavers, and a mighty Warlord Titan to lead the Manipal. Uh, pull forward what probably is quintessentially my favourite Titan, which is a uh, uh, Warhound. Really, really cool. Uh, very predatory like um, Titan. Uh, this one's armed obviously with the Vulcan Megavolta and uh, Turbo Destructor, I think it is. Laser Turbo Destructor, but obviously correct me in the comments. I'm wrong. Little lenses and things on the guns. I say little, but obviously in scale purposes, they're little. Uh, little lenses and windows are all picked out in a lovely green to complement. Um, I do love the Griffonica scheme where it's obviously grey and yellow. Uh, just incidentally, if you're really wondering, the bases are being left as our client is going to be doing the basing. Um, moving around, you can see lovely attention to detail on all the cables and areas of cogs works, picked out in some brass as well, which is quite nice. All the gold work has got lots of highlighting stages on it as well. Uh, but this lovely two-tone grey and yellow scheme, which is really, really cool. So that's just this Warhound. Uh, pull forward the next one. You've got obviously got an Inferno Cannon and a, a Plasma Blaster on this chap. Uh, they are all magnetised. Uh, there is a load of extra weapons for this uh, Titan Manipal just so our client can choose what he wants to slay his enemies with. Um, but again, really, really cool. Super clean finish on all of these. Uh, great, great commission to work on. You can see all those little lenses and everything done on those as well. And then we'll have a look at the mighty Reaver, or one of the first Reavers. Uh, you can see that lovely blue and white uh, called the iconography that this guy has got as well, just on the knee pad. Uh, but again, uh, this guy's armed with a chain fist, and uh, I can't remember what this is, a volcano cannon, I believe, uh, plus obviously the missile pod with the lovely red missiles picked out. Uh, all the little lights and things in green as well, and uh, lenses and scopes as well, all done. Uh, really pitted silver finish as well. The silver's got a bit of texture to it in the sense of it looking like it's got a bit of weathered uh, scratching and pitting to it but all highlighted you can see it then moving in the light with all the highlighting that's done on it and the sheen that's been done on there as well which is really really cool uh, so that's just the first reaver and then we'll have a look at the other two from the manipal so very much the same uh, again you can see that heraldry the blue and white heraldry that's just been put on there uh, in a super clean fashion uh, same consistency from model to model as you'll see nice little fits picked out in brass across uh, across the uh, the legs and things just to make those areas stand out really love these little eagle quillers on the back of the legs as well i think they're lovely uh, and the last of the three reavers before we have a look at the big boy himself uh, again the other reaver here as you'll see again a super 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 cool uh, model um, another great titan to, to add to your manipal with lots of destructive firepower having those three hard points uh, but all the all the individual little lenses as you can see all picked out in there as well in the lovely green let's just get that to focus so you guys can see oh green and red apologies the lighting wasn't bright enough but yeah green and red lenses there just on that uh, head as well which is cool so that's just him and then we'll have a look at the Mighty Warlord itself, uh, an absolutely incredible model uh, made up of loads of little bits, as I'm sure you guys know anyway. Uh, but again, the, the lights and lenses all done in green on this guy here, little red one there as well. Uh, but again, massive, massive model for, uh, for Adeptus Titanicus, uh, much bigger than Dreadnought in 40k. Uh, and you can see all the little uh, detail works all picked out as well across the uh, armor paste, all these little gold areas all done, highlighted really nicely. These little tiny plates, I say little, but they're massive in real life, obviously. And um, and then you can see all the armor panels with the lovely gold work that's been done on them with various stages of highlighting as well. Uh, nice, nice Griffonicus scheme on this chap as well. You've got the two uh, sort of heraldry uh, shields or tilt shields that are on his kind of shoulders, one in blue and one in white as well to match the color scheme. Uh, and again, I do love the fact you've got these little guns just on the, uh, on the fist as well these are little Vulcan mega bolters here as you'll see uh, and the little lenses and everything all picked out in there as well so that's the uh, warlord to lead this Griffonicus Titan
in Manipal. Uh, it's all going to be packed up now and shipped off to our clients to lend some destruction amongst his enemies. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at this Manipal in a little bit more detail and also go over how you can get a commission with us here at Siege. See you guys back in a sec. So I do hope that you've liked this Legio Griffonicus Titan Manipal. I know that Nick had a great time working on it. Really, really cool selection of models from the Adeptus Titanicus range. Uh, and again, really, really cool color scheme. Now, if you're interested in a commission for your own Titan Manipal like this, uh, be it a loyalist or a traitor, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video uh, where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Uh, once there, all you need to do is select the drop down options from those that are available for your project and your requirements uh, and then in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is shown how to do that on the contact form also file it off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us uh, now a couple of things to really help us out here at siege firstly in the description while you're there Go and follow and like us on all of our social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. Uh, also, as well, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor, give the video a thumbs up, and also please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you are notified when new videos do go up on the channel, much like this one. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it ever so much, and I'll see you very soon on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.